Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome to the channel end of year ramble plus showing off of the vehicles in the recent festive campaign added to From the Depths, limited time only. Build your craft fast because the campaign is not going to be around for a while. So, what is happening in this video is we're, I'm just going to, in a relaxed, uh, friendly fashion, run through the vehicles that have been submitted, like I did with the uh, Halloween thing. Hopefully we should be able to see what on earth is happening, because uh, it's not as dark as it was in the Halloween thing. And just, I don't know, ramble about whatever, the channel, life, because I'm feeling lazy today. I didn't feel like uh, writing up as crib notes for a video, I didn't feel like building stuff, so here we are. We're just gonna watch some stuff blow up, and just generally blow up some steam and be nice and fresh, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed for 2019, which is just a few days away as of the recording of this video. So, this is going to be fun, and... Well, I have already run out of things to say, apparently. So, first up, here's the Christmas tree, and, uh... I have tried the campaign for this, and I'm not going to do content on it. I'm not going to do a playthrough of it or anything like that. Because, frankly, like, I don't know, my appetite for campaign is just... A little bit uh, subdued at the moment. I still don't have many good craft available to do that. Really should get on with it, but I find that if I try and force it, I don't get good results. And it's just not fun. And so, I'm not rushing anything right now. And as of just the other day, in the patch notes released on the official From the Depths uh, Discord server, uh, the they've just only now managed to update the Deepwater Guard, the first faction with the new updated missiles. So they've got a ways to go before they manage to get to update the Lightning Hoods and the White Flares, which are the two factions that I'm about to start really brawling with, the Lightning Hoods especially. So I've got time, and you have time, and we all have time, and it's all very nice. But enough of that, so let's uh, get in and have a look at all this. So here's a Christmas tree. This is actually very good uh, use of uh, Mimic blocks. This thing is almost entirely made out of Mimics, or so it looks like. So Mimic, 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 Mimic. Lots of Mimics. Uh, costs nothing. Processing wise, I love how the ACBs are essentially doubling as Christmas presents. And just... Yeah, just, they're just messing with the lights and all that stuff. And there's... what is that? Is that a Mimic? I don't know. There's so many Mimics on this thing, it's just bravo. Well done. It's very much a Christmas tree. And there's other things here. We have the Igloo. Which is just... okay, excuse you. Which is just... Um, it's made of glass and it's got a bit of fuel and a bit of engine in it. Like... Pretty straightforward. Like, it's a good-looking igloo, actually, so let's see here, lots of glass. I really actually like the look of glass in this game, but it's a shame that I don't find more excuses to use it, because it's not particularly durable. It's like, let's see, glass block, it actually costs the same as wood, so, wait. 183. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's actually weaker than wood. It is... It is spectacularly fragile, which sucks because I would actually quite like uh, building an entire vehicle out of out of glass. That'd be fun. Okay, so that's an igloo. What else do we have? Christmas tree decorations. We've got presents, which is actually armed. This whole thing is a big gun by the looks of it. Pretty spectacular big gun, actually. What kind of shells are these? Oh. What the? These are teeny tiny hess shells. Wait, are they? Well, there's a way to find this out. I haven't had a look at this, actually. This is a good example of a little stationary turret. Does not appear to be armored on the inside, which is usual major no-no, and yeah, lots of firepower, and not a lot of protectiveness, so let's see here. So it's only got, this is what it's got, it's got little 150mm 
squash heads do very little very little small amounts of damage but the rate it fires them I think will be okay so let's just spawn in something I love I love this by the way oh it has no detection systems that's cute well no worries these things destroyed themselves That's an auspicious start to this video. Okay, you can stop now, sir. So anyway, that uh, appears to be those three things. There's also, by the looks of it, there's also a few free tanks for us. So there's the Miku Mark II. Ah, God, I didn't mean to launch it. That is a good-looking tank. Whoever made this thing, well done. That is a... Oh, my God. That is, in fact, a very good-looking tank. Does it work well, though? Uh, it's... Well... Actually... Well... I don't know. Maybe this is how you're meant to build tanks. Let's spawn in... A toy tank again. The toy. Not the toy. <laughs> toy tank. Shakes, that's a good-looking tank, though. I wish I could build like that. Look at this! It's so good! So amazing! Let's ride on that tank! I feel bad. I said in the uh, Discord not long ago that uh, I wasn't gonna do... Might not do any content on this because the designs were, la were not that impressive. This has impressed me just because... Well, you guys know me by now. Aesthet aesthetic things are not something I ever really bother with with my builds. But I always kind of appreciate them when other people do it, so... That's pretty sweet. I like that. I really do like that. Miku Mark Three is presumably a similar thing. Oh, it's got a bigger gun on it, by the looks of it. What is this thing loaded with? I'd guess hash? No! No, it isn't. Interesting. It's got solid voice. Let's spawn in... It's a nice tank. Spawn in the sand tank. Ah, this might have been a bit of a mistake. Lots of missiles and crams. Yeah, I'm gonna die horribly. No, I'm not actually. Whew. Yep, that's a bit of an issue. We. Although those crimes missed. See, it's an interesting ball game testing and fighting craft that are armed with the new interesting powerful missiles because small missile spam is very much a thing. And uh, if you're having trouble with the designs in this campaign, especially the ones like, well, the sand tank that spawn lots of small missiles, your best bet is A, countermeasures, and B, keep your distance. Small missiles tend to have horrible range. So in any case, so what can else can we load here? We've done, done all that. Let's do that. And now, in no particular order, let's run through this list right here. I would, I would spawn them in, like with this menu, but uh, a lot of the aircraft spawn in funny, so can't really do that. Dick as hell. We need to actually go you know what? We need transportation. So, let's spawn in a ride. Do, 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 do. Now, what kind of ride do we want? We want a sweet ride, eh? We want something that goes very fast and very high. Hello, hello, the Schnellerdrach. Now, if you don't know, this is something I made ages ago, thinking that the White Flayers were going to declare war on me, so... It's a big honking great airship with a bunch of missiles on it. Well, I say a bunch. Uh, I retrofitted this thing to be effective uh, with the new missile update, and, well, it's got less missiles than it used to. Still damn fast, though. So you, sir, go over here. And while we're uh, riding our way over there, like, what, what are my plans for the new year? New Year's resolution, in fact. 
Well, for a start, I'm gonna keep making content, no worries there. Still mostly from the depth stuff, but as ever, I'll branch out. I'd like uh, upload other things occasionally, just to see what people like and what else I can do, just in case I get completely and utterly sick of this game, which isn't likely, but it can happen. It happens to the best of us. Like, there's a whole bunch of YouTubers who have, like, played this game, done a lot of content on this game, and they've just stopped because they've burnt out from it. It's easy to burn out on From the Depths, as I keep saying. And, wow, we're here already. I thought I was going to have to keep talking for a while. But, nope, here we are. We're near the ocean. Ah, so nice. But in any case, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, keep making content. Uh, I'm planning to stream at some point. I need to work out all the details about how to do that, because I really don't want to mess that up the first time I do it. And that'll be fun. We're going to just see where the channel goes, and I'm just looking at the Schnellenrock, and it's just, it's so nice to look upon a craft that you're actually kind of proud of, because I love this thing. Let's just show this thing off while we're here. And uh, if I s just use this menu, where does that go? It is... Weigh the balls over there? That'll do, actually. So what the crumpel is, is a tank. It is way the hell over here. Ah, it is a tiny little... Yep, it is a wee tank. That I think doesn't see me very well. And this is what the Schnellerdrach is armed with. It's got big missiles. I can't remember if these things are APM guided or not. They appear to be, yep. That thing's probably a it's not AI did. It. Wow, it survived that. It really is a tank. Wow, I have already gotten distracted. Clearly this video is working. Also, I've turned down the trails of both shells and missiles a lot. Partially to save on performance, but also because I like how it looks. Yeah, but I, for one, am a fan of the new missiles. I think they're really cool. Alrighty then. So over here, and you, sir. Listening. Listening. Moving out. Moving out. You go chill over there. This is Rambot hovering at over 100 meters per second, by the way. And now let's play around. Let's have a... Let's muck around with this. So let's go here and load in... Let's go to built-in, and this just allows me more control of how these things spawn. And, uh, Halloween is still here, but all these folders are empty. So those, hope you've saved those designs while you could, because they're not there anymore. So enemies, what is a pine? Pretty sure they're... What is this? Is it a tank? No, it's a hover thing. It's a hover thing! What kind of hover thing is this? Oh, that's why. Is that...? Yep, it is. Sweet. Oh, you know I have to test the Schnellerdrach against this. Where are we at? Fine. Forces of Winter. Unfortunately, there's only one team, so to speak. So... Yeah, so I can't spawn in uh, and have a completely fair test, but I'm... But you know what? We want to blow things up anyway. That'd be nice. That is nice and fun. Or we could uh, save time, and we could... So there... What the hell is this? That's an aircraft, I'm guessing, so... Yes, it is. Ooh. Let's see, let's see these things. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, wow, it's a very fast aircraft. And it's going to space. Whoa! Oh, yeah, right. I forgot about this. Uh, the, uh... Itoi in... 
the co let's just call it the comment because I like to pretend that I can pronounce French, but uh, that ain't working for me. What a this is a gorgeous thing. It's not particularly a Christmas theme, but ye gods, I should uh, actually steal this thing for use in for personal. What the what the heck kind of thing am I trying to say? I should steal this design for business and pleasure. I should use it in the Nita campaign, just for giggles. And it uses smart bombs. Are those smart bombs fast enough? No, they're not. Missiles are very strong now. Very strong, very... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Yep, that tickled you. Where am I? Oh, there you are. Let's watch the bombs fall. That'd be fun. Wait for it. Oh. Did I miss it? Okay, so you get the idea. These two, they do things. Now... Oh my god, I'm in space. And now I'm not. Now I really want to test... Uh, I just want to test everything, you know? just want to test everything. And that's the AA one. Oh, hello. That'll probably be more interesting. Let's spawn in... Heavy Weapon Snowman. I don't know if this is a tank or not, so... Ah, oh, well. Let's see what happens. What is that? Oh, this was in the last... Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's good mimic use. Look at that. Look at that. That is very good mimic use. Excellent mimic use, in fact, because it has... Uh, things, what's it? Did you just spit out all of those? Teach me not to watch. Jeez. Countermeasures are a thing, though. It, oh my god, his hat's on fire. And he's angry, look at that. Oh, he's got his face. Oh, he's lost an eye. He's lost an eye and he's angry. What kind of shells are those exactly? Those are heat, I'm guessing? I always forget, like, what individual shell types actually look like. That could be heat, or maybe it's hollow point. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's a uh, heavy ducker. Yeah, my money's on the aeroplane. This is a fast damn thing. I should mention that the campaign is a wee bit, uh, a little bit, what can I call it, not optimized yet, because a lot of designs have a habit of spawning, like, either too low or too high, usually too low, and it tends to affect aircraft, so they spawn in the water, or, which means they sink, or on land, which means that they get damaged, so that's no good. So there's that, and not that, let's see, what else, heavy weapons, to oh, the kill flake, oh, the kill flake is a bastard. The kill flake is best demonstrated with a target in mind, so... Okay, pause the game, pause the game. Go to the cram... The cramapult? Okay, which will be on my team, because I hate myself. Oh my word. And the... Kill flake... The kill flake, uh... Is one of the most annoying things, because the whole thing is made out of rams, and, uh... Well, you, you'll see. You'll see. It is a... It's a suicide craft, a la a bloodshot or an ICBM. And let's just get a look at this thing. Oh, what an evil looking thing. I think those are all mimics on it, actually. So when it gets, it just bounces up and down a lot. So let's see this guy. Which is precisely the wrong kind. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> Assuming it doesn't bounce off the... Is that... I can't even tell, it's so dark. Are those crams? Those must be crams, they're enormous. 
Oh, right. They got that off the catapult. Well, this is just silly. Oh boy, that's it. Or not. Oh dear. Yep, there we go. Oh dear. Well, they're both dead. Look at those barrels falling off. Well, well, oh my god, the crown bolt actually won that. See, that's the trick with suicide craft. You either... Jeez. Well, they either have to kill themselves in a way that does a lot of damage, or they have to... well... They have to survive when they hit something. Oh, what? What the- are you repairing yourself, you cheeky bugger? None of that, thank you. Okay, the Grammar Bolt needs a better target, so let's give it one. So let's go... Grammar Bolt. Ah, we've seen the Kramark already, but... Did I spawn that? I did spawn that in my fleet color. I don't think any of these things are actually spawned in fleet color, so... Should be okay, let's see this Kramark, and this is on my team, because why not? Oh wait, nope, that we haven't seen the Kramark yet. Okay, yep. Painful. Who's winning? No one's winning. Everyone's having a bad time. Okay. Ooh, don't crash please. Yep. Lost the turret. Well, ain't that a bugger. Let's go chill out. That's not actually. Let's go see this thing. I like this thing a lot. Well, I like it and yeah. I cannot build tanks to save my life. It is a... Uh, Crying shame, but yeah, can't. And I'm running out of time here. I might need to just rush this a little bit. Actually, no, let's not rush. We're having a good time. Down. Well, let's not do that menu. Let's go here. Crampal. What's a crampal? Oh, that's our little crap tank. What's the next thing on the list? A Kringle Cruiser. Oh my god. I know this thing. This is actually very scary. Very big, very fast. Spits out lots of missiles. Oh boy. Well, you'll see for yourself when I spawn it in. It's a uh, very big. And uh, when I was playing this campaign, this is the thing that killed me. So it spits out lots of... Are those big missiles? Looks like it. Actually, yeah, I have to see if the Schnellidra can take this. Just because. Probably not. Here, Kringle Cruiser, Forces of Winter, and then way over here. Way over here, my thing, just to see. Airship, Schneller Draw. Much cheaper, but. Mm. Please don't collide. Oh, yep! Still one! Oh no, no I didn't. Jesus. Well. I'm just gonna say that my uh, ship would have won if that hadn't happened. Well, that's embarrassing. Let's move on and pretend that never happened. We let's go here. Back to built-in and festive and enemies and my team and Kringle Cruiser Lego. What's a Lego? Oh, the Lego's a submarine. My bad. More specifically, it's a ram sub. So let's go in here. Is this too shallow? 
This wall is very shallow, so... Let's go here and load a Lego. Then we load another Lego. Because I want to see... What happens if you stick two Legos together? Silly things, by all accounts. They're just wiggling along the seafloor right now. Well, you guys can't move anymore. That's embarrassing. Sorry for anyone who submitted a craft and is watching this and is disappointed that I'm not going over them in detail. There's too many. I cannot do that. Unless something really catches my... Oh yeah, Mecha Krampus. What does this thing look like? This is probably the end boss, so turn away now. Spoilers. Oh my word, that looks terrifying. That looks really scary. Well, let's go see if uh, the next thing down the list can take on Mecha Krampus. We... Look, by the looks of it, not. This is a robot deer. That just had its legs shot up. That looked cool, actually. How about... Three... Oh, Cupid. Let's see this. Let's just all test these against Mecha Krampus. Oh, wow, he got his head shot off. That's just painful. Well, we have to go down the reindeer list, so... Prancer and... Rudolph! Well, they're all different colors. Let's... Let's get a wee close look at this. Wow. Farting really hard, enough to propel himself. That's actually hurting him a bit. Damn. Whoa, Rudolph's kicking ass. No, that's Prancer, sorry. Guys, get your act together. Why did Prancer just fart out purple smoke? That's just silly. Well, Rudolph's dead. Oh, jeez. It exploded. Well, they managed to scratch Mega Krampus at least. At least. Blech. Now they have the whole team. Go for it. Let's see if all the reindeer could do it. Uh, what? Ow. Note to self. Turn volume down. Oh, Mecha Krampus has actually lost some health. This is the silliest thing in the world, and it is glorious. I think this is the thumbnail right here. No, 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 go away, friggin' saber tooth. Well, I'm not sure if you guys actually saw that, but uh, you've seen it now, because now I've said it. This is just silly. Okay, enough of this nonsense. 
Right. So that was all the reindeer and Krampus and Vixen? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's like it's actually prancing around. That is beautiful. I think we're seeing the- no, that's the sand tank. Well, let's see- well, I've accidentally spawned that in on my team, so... Now let's- oh no, I can already see this thing has a hat. Santa's a sleigh. Oh my god, you killed Santa, you bastards! Admittedly... Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> Vixen came to give him a hug. That's unfortunate. But is there anything that can uh, kill the sand tank, by any chance? Vixen, you're missing your head. And your back legs. That's just embarrassing. Scary snowman head? Well, that took no time at all. Well, that didn't last long either. Is there no one that can beat the set? Well, clearly Krampus could beat the scent tank. So let's go the angel. The angel's not gonna last long, I don't think. Yep, dead. It's just a vertebrate thing. Really cool looking, especially when it dies horribly. That particle cannon is scary as hell. I think Vixen just got trolled in the back there. Somebody needs to put Vixen out of his misery, so let's uh, do that. The claws. Oh boy. How big is this thing? But there's no ships in this. By the looks of it. That is a hell of a thing, though. Oh, you're gonna scrape the dirt a little bit. Sand tank got messed up. <laughs> wonder if, actually, I wonder if Krampus could do, deal with the claws. We'll save that for last, I think. So, meantime, go to the Polar Express. This is another sweet looking tank. I should have had my flashlight on the whole time. Sweet looking tank, and I believe... Commander Pronsa. Excellent work. And the Silent Knight. Oh boy. This might be a submarine. So let's spawn it on land. <laughs> it is a submarine. But let's see if a submarine that's stuck on land can still kill a tank. My guess is... Maybe not. Oh, whoopsies! The only hope is to ram it! You're all out of hope. So let this be a lesson to you guys, that uh, a beach submarine beats a tank on land. That's apparently how the world works. It also helps that the submarine's a lot bigger and has a lot of missiles. Look, look at this thing, this is quite cool looking. Does that spell anything? No, no it does not. Wish I'd known about the flashlight earlier. Okay, what else can kill a submarine that's stuck on land? That's a lot of torpedoes, jeez. The sleigh. 
What is the sleigh? It's a plane! A bomber? My guess is... Maybe... But also, maybe not. It's got guns on it. Well, I think if you were going to... Uh... Wait, no. Crap. Destroy everything. I'm to see the sleigh in action. It's Christmas in heaven. Okay, so there we have the sleigh, and here we have the tinsel, which is on the other team. Whee! Oh, what a ghastly nightmare. Oh, that looked painful. Yep, tinsel's dead. What can possibly slay the sleigh? The toy, of course it can. Oh, that's a sweet tank, I hate to break it. It's like, what do you want to call it? It's like a little World War II era light tank. Oh, this is gonna die so horribly. No, don't shine the flashlight on it. No, turn it off. Oh, I missed it. Well, I said it couldn't bear watching, so, uh... Right, you, sir, let's just, just spawn in something that can definitely shoot you down. No, 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 no. Remember what you're showing off, Borderwise. The toy... toy to oh, this is my favorite. This will definitely win. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Toy tank. I love this thing so much. It is my favorite. It is my absolute favorite, simply because of how incredibly stupid it is. I tried spawning the two of these things in to fight each other, and they both killed themselves. It's just... I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. And that's why I had to die. Too damaged? Yes. And now the sleigh has had too much fun. So let's spawn in something that we definitely know can kill it. That's one of my designs, which I'm going to show off now. And if it doesn't work, by gum, I'm going to be very embarrassed. Hello, Wadjet. What are you doing on the side of evil? Oh my god, that, those fleet colors. Mayday! So, uh, handy hint for this little custom Christmas campaign, use lasers. Uh, lasers seem to work against, well, most everything really, except for the tanks occasionally. Wow. The Wadjet is in fact sitting on the ground. That's just silly. Well, Slay's not going anywhere, Christmas is cancelled, so thank goodness 2018 we still had it. Okay, I completely forgot what I was going to ramble about. I had a whole list of things to ramble about, and uh, it's all gone. So let's see if... Uh, what's it? What was the two things? I think it was... As soon as I find it, I will remember again. Festive enemies. Mecha Krampus. Versus something else that's really strong. It's down here. The claws. The claws, that's it. The claws, the legal claws. Let's see which one of these bad boys wins. Preemptively turning the game speed down. Well, the claws just appears to have shot itself, so that's not a good start. Also, are those... Large missiles. They appear to be, yes. Whoa. Mecha Krampus is getting wrecked. Slightly. Well, very slightly. Dark colors. 
Let's see here, who's winning? Ah, finally! The clause is up and running. How's the claws doing? Claws? Oh dear, that looked very painful. You shouldn't shoot yourself, you know. It's a self-destructive habit. Oh my god, it's even labelled. Like, again, I'm sorry to anyone who's designed I haven't given a huge amount of attention, but there's only so much time in the video. Oh my goodness. And like anyone who plays from the depths, I encourage you to look very closely at all the designs and Especially, like, pay attention to who made these things. Like, the Weasel has made these two. The Kinesian Emperor has contributed again. Smiley. Ship Mecha Krampus? Really? It's not a ship, is it? Let's actually go through all the list of people. Let's see. Weasel. Weasel. Silent Knight. Nobody made that, apparently. The Kinesian Emperor. Sirenoid. Jay Woodrill. Weasel again. Weasel. Wow, well done, Weasel. Kinesian Emperor. Smiley, 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 smiley. Maro, Maro, well done. Kinesian Emperor. Who made, who made this? Well done, Smiley. Favorite thing in the world. And the toy by Kinesian Emperor. Rambot watches. Presents. Y7090. Well done. Sirenoid again. Well done. Sirenoid again, again. And totally not pandering. <laughs> Nitro next. Oh, well done. <laughs> totally also not pandering. We know what you're into. You like them anime girls. Good on ya. Oh, Mecha Krampus, how are you doing? Very badly. I'm just gonna assume those shells are hash because, like, all shells are hash as far as I'm concerned these days. Actually, who made that thing again? The claws. That was Kinesian Emperor. Knew it. Well, this is going to take a long time. How about... You go for the base of the thing, eh? Oh boy, the claws just took a major hit. Oh my god, that's a bazooka. That's a gun disguised as a bazooka. Also, Krampus just got his head blown off. That is amazing. How are things doing over here? You doing okay? You're doing fine. You're doing fine. Well, I think it's safe to say that the, that uh, Santa Claus, or The Claus, as he's known to his hood, uh, beats Krampus uh, quite handily, really. Because Claus can fly and Krampus cannot. So... Thank you all so much for watching this rather weird video. Weird, slightly rushed, slightly annoying. And well done to everyone who sent in uh, Christmas stuff. I was unenthused about the whole Christmas event thing given uh, uh, what a mess I made of the, the Halloween event. But you have restored my faith in Christmas. You have... Well, I was a Scrooge, I was a Grinch, and now I am not. Well done, guys. And thank you to the devs who made this game in the first place and continue to make it. That's really awesome. Especially Nick Smart, you bug-crushing machine. And once again, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And I will see you next year in From the Depths and whatever video comes next. Farewell!